What's up guys? Welcome to the video. We've got a full review here of an awesome product from New Trent. This is the mobile power pack. It's the iCarrier or the IMP120D if you want to go ahead and look that up online. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you right now the link um, from New Trent is in the description box below the video as well as the link to Amazon where we're going to have a special promo going on which I'll explain uh, throughout this video. Anyways, this is going to run uh, $129.99. It's actually on sale pretty much everywhere right now for $76.95 and I can help you get $10 off that price with free shipping from Amazon. Essentially what this is is a very large battery pack. And when I say large, I do not mean in physical size at all. This thing weighs 289 grams, 0.6 pounds. It's this big. It'll fit in your pocket on the go and this is an excellent product to take with you when you're going to be out of the house for a while. The iPhone battery, the iPad battery, they're both up there just out of shot. Um, they're good batteries but essentially they're not going to get you through the whole day. And what this is going to do is it's going to provide you a crap ton of power to get you through the whole day. We're looking at 1200 milliamp hours. That is 600% of the battery capacity in the iPhone 5. 600% of the capacity in an Android uh, Samsung Galaxy S2. 120% the, uh, the battery in the iPad 2 and 80% of the iPad 3's battery life. The two devices I'm working with right here today are the iPad 3 or the new iPad and the iPhone 5. So we have a couple options here with this case or with this uh, battery pack. There are two powered USB ports on this side. One of them, there's, they're labeled uh, output 1 and output 2. Output 1 is 5 volts and 1 amp. That's going to be the charging accessory port you're going to want to use for an iPhone or another smartphone. And then there's a 2.1 amp, also 5 volt output found over here and that's going to be able to more efficiently charge um, a tablet or the iPad uh, a little bit quicker since those devices use more power to, uh, to fill their larger batteries. So it comes with a couple different things. We have a carrying case which I have right over here. It's a bit of a felt pad if you will. It's just going to slide in here like this and then it's got two little cinch ties here that you would just pull like that and uh, now you're going to be able to carry that around in a briefcase or a suitcase without scratching it. So it's nice that they include that. There's also two cables included. One of them is a USB extension cable if you were to have a charging accessory that came with your phone that has a bit of a brick on the end so you wouldn't be blocking both power outlets which can be used at the same time to charge two devices. So this is just a couple inch uh, male to female USB extender as well as a few inches longer USB to I believe mini USB for different smartphones or accessories. Uh, right there. So there's not a whole lot going on with this uh, physically with the two outputs here, a button which you'll be able to press, see how much power you have left and start the charging. There's three LEDs which indicate low, medium and high power telling you how much you have left in here. This takes about 10 hours to charge and as I said it'll refill that smartphone six times from zero and that is remarkable. So you could use this thing on a whole vacation and probably not have to charge it. Um, if you should have to charge it, of course, it comes with a way to do that, which is right here out of scene. It's just a simple charger like this. You've got an LED so you know when it is charging. It's non-polarized and non-grounded. The other end looks like this and simply plugs in right here next to the power button. And uh, while it is charging, these LEDs light up to let you know when it's finished. We'll go ahead and demonstrate this product by charging both devices here at the same time. The iPad on the right, of course, the iPhone on the left. I have both cables that the devices came with, just the regular white Apple USB cables. The 30 pin is going to be for the iPad 3. So we'll plug that in at the bottom. And this is the iPad, so we're going to want to use output number 2, which is going to give us 2.1 amps instead of 1 for a smartphone. That's plugged in, not charging yet because I've not pushed the button. We'll plug in the lightning connector on the iPhone 5, and then that will go into output 1. Now they're both connected like that. Press and hold the button for about two seconds, and there they go. Both charging. Happens to be the iPad's at 89, the iPhone is at 34. It will charge, in my experiences over the past few days, at just about the same rate it would if you plugged it into your Mac or your desktop or whatever uh, machine you're using to charge them. It's approximately the same speed as plugging it into the wall, however that's quite a bit more power than you're going to find in any battery, so um, it's definitely, definitely very usable. I uh, actually had the older model of this product, I took it across the country and back charging my phone in the car I drove from Cleveland to San Diego, and without that it would have been a matter of having the MacBook Pro on in the back seat sitting on the floor charging and that would have been a mess. So uh, as a heavy user of this product and the one before it, which is essentially the same without the two USB ports, it had one, but this one with two is awesome. I would definitely recommend buying one of these. It's made my life a lot easier. And it doesn't just work for Apple products. It'll work for pretty much anything that's going to charge through USB. 
So if you wanted to take your flip camcorder, which I would demonstrate, but I'm using it right now to record this video, you could actually unplug this, shove it in there, and it'll charge your flip. Um, any other smartphone that charges via USB, any product that charges via, via USB, a camera, a camcorder, phones, iPads, tablets, um, there's not a way to charge a MacBook Pro from this yet, but who knows, maybe that's on the way. If you know anything about battery capacities, 1200 milliamp hours is quite a substantial amount of power. And if you think physically, the battery in an iPhone 4S takes up, or an iPhone 5, takes up quite a bit of the space in here. Look at the size difference. This thing is by no means large, but it is quite a bit thicker and larger than an iPhone, so you, you can really get a feel for how much power is actually in there. Moving on to the promotional deal. If you're interested in purchasing this, be sure to check out the two links I provided below. If you'd like to get the promo code to get the $10 off, that does expire October 19th, so you've got uh, about a week or eight days here to deal with that. Click on the Amazon link and use the promotion code RSCHULTZ at checkout. R-S-C-H-U-L-T-Z. I will put all those uh, links and codes and everything that you'll need to know in the um, description box below this video. So please be sure to check that out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please be sure to leave those below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Check out those links and be sure to like New Trent on Facebook, facebook.com slash nt.fans. And I will talk to you guys in a future video. Bye-bye.